Hello there, I am the Common Sense Guy. Today we're going to be talking about a Labour candidate that for some reason doesn't believe that ISIS exists. Now, you can make your own prejudgments about that before we get into the video, but I can't really argue with most of the prejudgments. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to get into the video and actually have a look at what she's said and what she hasn't said, what she's being accused of, and how the hell she's still a leader of a candidate. So let's get into the video, shall we? So, as you can see at this moment in time, school suspends a Labour candidate after she claimed there was no proof ISIS existed. Safir Noor was suspended as a parent governor from Yew Tree Community School in Witten. So let's carry on, go further down. There's a video there if anybody wants to watch the video. The link for this will obviously be in the description box. So go and have a read, go have a look. You can find out more about it. Oh, apparently the video wants to stay with me now. We're doing well. A Birmingham Labour local election candidate who claimed there was no proof that Islamic State existed has been suspended as a school governor. Why hasn't she been suspended by Labour? Why is she not? Why is she still allowed to run as Labour candidate if she's trying to dispel the fact that she doesn't believe that ISIS exists? Meaning that all the people that have tried to blow things up in obviously all different parts of the country obviously have no allegiance to ISIS whatsoever, and these are all lone wolves that have no ideology whatsoever. But yeah, let's carry on, shall we? Law student Safia Noor apologised after the Birmingham man revealed the claims that she made in a string of controversial Facebook posts. The 25-year-old had been selected as Labour's new candidate for the Small Heath Ward in City Council elections next year. Again, why is she still Labour candidate? She shouldn't be Labour candidate. If she's being expelled from schools as a governor, then she shouldn't be allowed to run as a Labour candidate. Surely that makes sense, does it not? Or is it okay for people to be anti-Semitic and saying that people that have died not to call them Muslims and things like that? Is, is that acceptable nowadays? Is that what it is? We have to protect our ideology, so it doesn't matter what people say, we have to protect the ideology rather than the people. Like, the ideology is better than the person. That makes no sense, does it? Now, you tree community school in Witten has confirmed she has been suspended as a parent governor while an investigation into her comments takes place. It's amazing, isn't it, that a political party is not suspending her and having an investigation over any of this or anything like that or just having a look and doing her own investigation to find out what's going on. But a school is the one that is doing the investigation to find out what's going on to suspend her as a, as a parent governor. That's worrying to me. That that just dispels the ideologies of the left, doesn't it? It doesn't matter. She's she's of a particular colour, she's a particular race, she's a particular religion. So that means we need her in diversity. Yeah, but she's an idiot and doesn't realise that ISIS actually exists and not talking about the problems that are happening in, in our country. Yeah, that doesn't matter. She's diverse. She fits our quota. Like that makes sense. But like that actually physically makes sense. Oh, she fits our quota. It doesn't matter anymore. Surely we want people joined on our actual meritocracy as in the best people put forward isn't that what the idea of meritocracy is the idea of government you put the best people forward not people that just fit in a quota to make you look good it's just annoying to me sorry let's just move on shall we i am not going to be able to pronounce the name on this but we'll, we will try head teacher shokat islam said this came to our attention on a saturday morning when we saw it in the birmingham mall after receiving that information the trust made a decision to suspend her pending an investigation which is to be carried out again i'd like to point out that this is a school that is investigating a labor candidate into whether or not she's done anything wrong and we'll carry on to what the labor party said shall we the Labour Party declined to comment when asked if Miss Noor has been suspended or was subjected of any investigation. Meaning that they do not care. Meaning that they are not going to comment because it is nothing that bothers them because they are fitting their quotas, they are fitting their diversity quotas. And this is the Labour Party that so many people are so 
indoctrinated into watching and looking after thinking oh yes we're going to be inclusive it is not inclusive to say that people that have died for an ideology such as is whether you believe it to be wrong or right or for whatever reasons they're fighting for don't exist that's a worrying term isn't it that somebody that's going to be in power suggests that people that are fighting against you that are blowing you up that have the ideology saying i did this for isis and which have been recorded to say that as well, are coming out and saying, yeah, well, ISIS doesn't exist, there's no proof of it. And she's going to be a council member. She's going to be a Labour candidate for a council member just because she fits a, a bloody quota. Does that not, not worry the people in the left at all? The fact that you're putting people forward that are actually saying that people that have died through different ideologies don't exist? They haven't happened. They didn't do it for Muslim or Islam. It's not the fact that I disbelieve that the fact that it says it in that, which is a different argument altogether. No, just ISIS doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. Like, okay. <laughs> Whether you believe in conspiracy theories or not, trying to say that it's created by the CIA or the FBI or whatever, or America, or if it's just created in general just by what the mainstream media portray it as, it doesn't matter on that point. It matters the fact that she says that it does not exist at all. At all. That it's not a problem. And that is going to be a council member for Birmingham. For a Labour candidate. I think I've gone on this one quite a bit. We revealed the controversial Facebook post last week. Including one about Westminster Bridge terrorist Khalid Massoud. On March 22nd he mowed... Down innocent victims on the bridge, killing four people before stabbing police officer Keith Palmer to death. And yes, we do remember that. And yes, we should be remembering that. But no, yeah, she made some very interesting comments about that, unfortunately. But let's carry on, shall we? As you can see there, Birmingham Labour candidate apologies after saying no proof that ISIS exists. The same day, Miss Noor posted publicly on Facebook... Can people relax, this is a quotation obviously, and this is on the actual day of the attack. Can people relax and stop fighting on Facebook? Sadly people died in Westminster today, but people die every day in Syria, Palestine, Africa, Rohingya, Kashmir. Need I carry on? Grow up and stop pointing fingers. Um, sorry, but aren't we supposed to not point fingers? But find out the reasons why stuff have happened so that we can deter it from happening again. You know, like, if you have a child that's going to put their hand on a fire, you don't say to the child, okay, well, go do it, and then let the child do it again afterwards. It, it just doesn't work that way. You put a guard up or you stop the child from going in the room. Same as going on stairs. You wouldn't let a child walk down the stairs because you know it's going to happen, so you put a child guard up. It's just simple things, and this is a person who's going to be a councillor for a Birmingham for a land Labour candidate. That is scary, worrying, and is just a trend that is going on at this moment in time. It is absolutely scary and fundamentally a problem that the problems that we have in this day and age, the problems that we are facing in this day and age, whether it be the absolution of terrorism in general. Or whether it would be the ideology of not being able to even talk about it. And talk about immigration and what's going on and things like that. We're not allowed to talk about it, yet alone actually carry on. We're not even allowed to point fingers, are we? Because at the end of the day, we don't have any sort of control what happens in Syria, Palestine, Africa, Rojina or Kashmir. We don't have any control over them. We don't have no control over them whatsoever. They have their own governments. Well, mostly have their own governments. But we do have control of what happens in this country. And we are not allowed to talk about what's going on. And that's a problem. So carrying on. In another message posted the same day only to her followers. Miss Norse said, terrorist attack. And even the terrorist died. Let me guess, he was a Muslim. Yeah, because that's what happened. Are you trying to say that the government is force flagging? Is that what you're trying to say? That the government is producing all of this and they're trying to pay people for blowing themselves up and putting themselves into this type of position and calling Allah Akbar and trying to kill as many people as possible? Or is it a government experiment that's gone wrong? 
I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to claim on this point. I really don't. On March 27th, she commented on a Guardian article which carried the headline, Westminster Tackard, Khaled Masood, had interest in jihad. And that was a quotation from the police. And that was her response, as we see in the video before. Someone got stabbed after the attack last week as a result of media and government claiming that so-called ISIS had claimed responsibility. I'm trying to get into her head, and I am actually thinking that this is thinking for her, that this is a government and media conspiracy that's going against Muslims. That she honestly believes that people are going against them. As in the media and the government, even though they're putting laws in place for being an Islamophobe and things like that, and you can't say anything to this and that, and you get more prison sentence for putting bacon outside of a mosque or on a mosque than what you would do for verbally assaulting, uh, for physically assaulting somebody. That's scary. <laughs> That's worrying. Miss Nor posted to her followers, so someone got stabbed after the attack last week as a result of media and government. Blah. We've already read that one. After the Birmingham Mail contacted her last week, Miss Nor issued an apology. Having read these comments back, I accept I should have chosen my words more carefully. She said, I didn't intend to cause any offence and I apologise to anyone who found these comics offensive or upsetting. I completely condemn all terrorist acts. Well, you didn't say that in your actual posts. And if you're going to go on the logic that the left are going on at the moment, if you've upset and caused people, does that not make you a troll? Does that not also mean that as you're trolling at this moment in time, that you should be, um, I don't know, imprisoned? I think it was 13 months, I believe, somebody in Norfolk. Sargon did a video on it. Or at least should you not be suspended by Labour by an investigation to find out if you actually did this on purpose? Or at least an investigation to actually say that do you believe in actual terrorism and ISIS in general? Or is this all part of the ideology that the left are now adopting? As long as we fill our quotas and as long as you're going to fit by our rules, as in support Jeremy Corbyn and the ideas that we're going to have, we don't give a crap what you're actually going to do. Because that's what it seems to be doing. When you have a school that is doing more than what a political party that is wanting to be leadership and government of this country and the school is doing more to investigate something that has gone on in this person's past that is key to their ideology politically and personally and a school is paying more attention to it than what a political party that as I said before is going to try and form a government at some point is absolutely scary and worrying to me. Follow our ideology and we will protect you. If that's not the definition and ideology of a cult, I don't know what is. You fill our ideology so we're going to protect you. That's, that's really worrying to me. It really, really is worrying to me. Well, that's the end of that little story. As I said before, this is an ongoing saga. It's been going on for about two weeks. Um, as you can tell, it's a two week old story as well, so this is enough time for the Labour Party in general, or at least people that are local, in the local lo Labour constituency, would be able to go. We probably need to have a look at this if there is a school that's investigating into these type of processes. Maybe we should as well, because you know, we're supposed to be a little bit more scrutinised than what a school probably would be, considering that we're the ones that are going to dictate to the schools what they can and cannot do. No, no, uh, I must be missing something then, obviously. The, the, the idea of chain of command has completely gone over the top of my head on that one then. I, c I can't think why. can't think why. Maybe it's something to do with the jack of all trades. Maybe it's something to do with we need to make sure that our constituencies are diverse. Let's fill our quotas. Maybe in general, let's fill it with people that actually want to represent the working class and actually, um, I don't know. Maybe some of them would oppose Jeremy Corbyn for the idiocies that he's producing at the minute. Because you have to remember that all these people that are candidates for local by-elections and things like that now have to sign a contract to say that they're not going to go against Jeremy Corbyn so that they can get funding and things like that. That is a scary idea. Really scary idea. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to give this one a rest. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to bid you farewell after now. So, without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe this video and to this channel. 
If you like what I'm doing here, please remember to share this video. Let's get some more subscribers. Let's make this channel a bit bigger than what it is. Just for the simple fact of trying to spread some common sense and decency around nowadays, rather than anything to do with me on a personal level. Why am I the only one who's brought this story up? Why am I the only one that's actually remembered that this is actually going on? And this is a Labour candidate for a local council member. Now, if this is a story circulating a local council member at this moment in time, what the hell's going on with actual bloody MPs and things like that? What, what's going on? Where, where are their ideologies? What's going on? Because then you have to look at the people that are further up on the higher on chain of command, so to speak. If you've got a councillor, you've got MPs that are in charge of the councillor, so to speak. And then you've obviously got government on top of that, as in the, the shadow government at this point in time. No, not deep government, shadow cabinet government. So you've got these that are going on at the moment. You've got the ideology of what she's spouting. Nobody else is claiming on her, and nobody else is going on top of the actual local constituency. So where's the, where's the accountability nowadays? Where, where is it gone? I just feel that nobody's bringing this up, and it should be, because if this is at the lowest level at council members, what is it like at the top? And that's what's worrying to me. All right, before I go on to a completely and utterly different tirade as I said I'm now going to get off but it's a question that I wanted to ask anybody if it's this bad at local level and it's only just been proven at local level how bad do you reckon it all is at the top level and what's actually going on after that question I feel that it's the best time for me to go farewell I beat a Zen. I bid you farewell I bid you adieu take care I see you all again real soon Bye-bye for now.